finding a gaping research gap is a lot easier when you let AI do most of the heavy lifting. But before we dive down that rabbit hole, we need to know what a research gap is and what to look for. It's a lot like finding a missing piece in the academic puzzle, an unanswered question or an unsolved problem that is yet to be fully explored by the academia. Let's break it down into the four types of research gaps that we know of, which, by the way, are sometimes also called literature gaps. First up, we've got the classic literature gap. Finding one is like stumbling upon a new island in the academic ocean, a shiny new concept that nobody's really looked at yet. These gaps often are connected to new technologies and discoveries that need to be categorized and studied for the first time. Next, we've got the disagreement gap. As the name suggests, this literature gap is found when despite a considerable amount of research has already been completed, there is still no consensus on important aspects of a certain problem or theory. Third on our list is the contextual gap. This gap is found when the existing research does not take into account a number of important contexts, populations, geographies, conditions, etc. But they also have to be studied to draw well-based conclusions. Conclusions. For instance, imagine research studies on social media use among college students, but only in the urban areas. This leaves a huge contextual gap for rural students or students from different cultures, potentially missing crucial insights about how those factors influence social media impact. Last but not least, we've got the methodological gap. This gap is most commonly found in older research that might have used inferior methods to the ones available to you right now. Maybe they forgot to ask some of the important questions or used outdated tech and or methodologies to perform the measurements. Okay, now let's look for a research gap ourselves and see what type it is. We'll be using BoodleBox, a purpose-built AI tool for professors that has recently introduced a new academic paper search box. Let's go to Boodle, open a new chat in the top left corner by pressing this plus sign or just simply control plus B and mention the search paper bot directly. We'll ask it to find academic papers studying the long-term effects of COVID-19 in college students. COVID-19 has been studied quite extensively over the last few years, but I'm betting there are still a lot of research gaps to be found there. Here, I'm hoping to find a context gap based on the lack of specific research aimed at students. Okay, the bot is asking us to narrow the search even further. Let's choose the specific fields of study that are relevant here, publication date, and go on. Now, there aren't too many papers available here, especially not for downloading, but we can grab the long-term effects of COVID-19 on endothelial function, arterial stiffness, and blood pressure in college students paper, and the introduction to student experiences of COVID-19 around the globe, and a couple more and download them as PDFs. Now let's attach these papers to the chat using the Knowledge Bank. For that, we can go to the top right corner and upload the PDFs from our device. And finally, attach them by clicking this paper clip icon next to the chat window or in the top right corner. Now let's mention the Research Methodology Advisor Rollbox and ask it to help us with our research gap. First of all, let's ask it straight up. Based on the studies I've attached to the chat, do you see a research gap? What kind? Look for further research is needed. Okay, the bot definitely found a research gap. It suggests longitudinal studies, comparative studies, in-depth analysis, evaluation of the long-term impact. There is a lot here, and you can pause and read it all if you want. But the important thing is it's asking us whether we want to discuss designing a study to address this research gap. We can definitely answer yes and go on to create the entirety of our study right here with the full support of the pre-trained AI bot. As you can see, AI tools can be really helpful. They speed up the process a lot, and BoodleBox especially has access to so many tools at once that it's a one-stop shop where you can get so much done. But be careful. Even though the models have been progressing non-stop for the last couple of years, AI is still prone to hallucinating from time to time. And you're the one responsible for double-checking the information it provides and leading it in the right direction. It's a real treasure trove of knowledge if you know how to use it. So that's it. I hope you learned something new today. Maybe not about the research gaps themselves, but definitely about the future of AI-assisted research.
language and can now work on your papers quicker more effectively and you know the sky's the limit and we seem to be planning to go even further pretty soon drop a like if you enjoyed the video tell us about your research in the comments subscribe and if you'd like to learn more about ai's role in higher education click on this video right here see you in the next one